The shooting for Tiger Zinda had just recently commenced on 4th March and while we all await the release we are all eager for a sneak peek from the sets. Thanks to the paparazzi who are working in full swing to wet our appetite, we happen to stumble upon a picture where Salman and Katrina seem to be smiling while listening to someone close by. Salman and Katrina have been a couple for long and post their breakup we were wondering how they would face each other. But the ease with which they interact speaks volumes of their maturity and professionalism. Katrina with her hair let loose seems to be completely focused on her work as Salman too shares similar feelings. The two have an amazing chemistry and we are sure that together they will manage to finish their schedule with complete justice. So are you excited to see this jodi unleash their magic in Tiger Zinda hai? Let us know by commenting in the section below. Superstar Salman Khan is no less than a family member for his fans. Some love to call him bhai or bhai jaan while others consider them as their own sultan. As the release day of Cube Light is inching closer, fans are showering their blessings and wishings on the Dabang Khan. Made under the directorship venture of Kabir Khan, Tube Light reveals a cross-border love story in the wake of the war between India and China way back in 1962. Opulent sets and a gripping storyline coupled with an underwater sequence by Salman are some of the things to look forward to. And of course, how can we forget the presence of Chinese actress Suzu making her debut venture in Bollywood with this film? Fans have time and again visited the sets and sent their good wishes for the film and their favorite hero and while we share pictures from the sets of Tube Light you too can share your wishes for Salman and his upcoming film Tube Light by commenting in the section below The Queen star Kangana Ranaut had recently graced the coffee couch along with her Rangoon co-star Saif Ali Khan and while the episode was a laughter riot it seems that host Karan Johar is quite miffed with Kangana as she had called him the flag bearer of nepotism in the industry. This seems to have left Kejo with a bitter taste and though he has not edited this insensitive statement from the show he is finally done and over with her playing a victim of all the time Karan even suggested that if she has so many problems and issues with the industry she may leave it Karan has cleared the air and said that maybe she didn't know the meaning of nepotism <laughs> Karan stated that he has never promoted any of his family members in the industry. He went on to state that in fact he had introduced 13 new directors to Bollywood and none of them had an earlier connection with the glamour world. While it's great to see Karan give so many talented artists a platform, let us know what you feel about Kangana's misplaced statement. Govinda was to release his Agaya Hero which was said to be his comeback film but looks like no one is interested to watch the flashy actor anymore yes for it is rumored that Govinda has not been able to get a distributor and that is the reason his film has not yet been released and has been promoted Wow, that is quite sad for wasn't this guy the hit of the 90s when people used to love watching him groove to all the top songs those days? With Karishma Kapoor, Govinda was always a hit and it is so sad that today no distributor apparently is ready to release his film Agaya Hero which is the same as Abhinay Chakra which is how the film was named earlier. Well, we did see Govinda promote his movie in so many reality shows, but looks like from February 25th it has shifted to March 3rd and now again it is postponed. What is your opinion about this? Yes, SRK will not be part of Jolly LLB3 and it is confirmed. Rumors about his role in Jolly LLB3 were doing the rounds. However, the director Subhash Kapoor has said that SRK is not part of the flick. Meanwhile, Shah Rukh is busy with his next with Anushka Sharma in Imtiaz Ali's flick, and then of course he would be seen playing a dwarf in Anand L Rai's next. With so much happening in Jolly LLB 2, we wonder how the third part would be. 
Akshay took the flick to a totally different level with a whooping 112 plus crore collection. Yes, we are following Akshay's line of movies and appreciate his capacity to easily release a movie, get it as a hit and move on. So if it is not Shah Rukh, would Subhash have Akshay in the third part or would he bring back Arshad Varsi, the original Jolly? Nothing is fixed as yet for now. Enjoy Jolly LLB 2. Hena. Salman and his love life is always under the scanner and people invariably end up comparing the various ladies who have come and gone into his life. Recently, there was a comparison between former Miss World 1994 Aishwarya Rai and Romanian beauty Lulia Van Thur. Aishwarya and Salman's relationship could not stand the test of time and the two parted ways in a bitter manner. Since then, Aishwarya has moved on and tied the knot with Abhishek Bachchan. Meanwhile, Salman's current lady love Lulia Vantur from Romania is being closely followed for being the Pais Bo. We found one thing common between both the good-looking beauties. What would Ash and Lulia have in common? Well, it seems that the two have the same taste when it comes to accessories. At a recent function, Lulia had worn a de-interrogation necklace and a couple of days later, Ash too was spotted donning a similar piece at the Cannes 2016, making us wonder if it's a shared style statement or a gift from someone you love. What do you think? Let us know in the comment section. Hum Aapke Hai Kaun was the first movie in Bollywood that collected more than 100 crores. These days, we see in Bollywood that every film star wishes to have his film cross over 300 crores. But did you know that it was Hum Aapke Hai Kaun which collected 100 crore for the first time? And believe it or not, it was a Salman Khan movie. For those coming in view, let us tell you that Hum Aapke Hai Kaun was a blockbuster and that crossed more than 100 crores thanks to Salman's super performance team with Madhuri Dixit. He was one actor who knew how to take the audience by storm. With so much happening, one only wonders that it is no surprise that all Salman movies are crossing 300 crores, for if he could have a 100 crore box office hit so many years back, then 300 crores is just happening in today's world. Henna. As for Salman, he is getting ready with his Eid release Tube Light and also with the sequel to Ek Tha Taika by Ali Abbas Safar. Salman is also getting busy with the Bang 3 allegedly with Sunakshi in the lead. So what do you feel about Salman doing great and Hamap Ke Hai Kaun in the 100 crore club buster? The CCNE Awards would be held and we will have none other than Salman Khan grooving to popular numbers. Though we would be having Ali and Varun also performing, we guess the crowd would be berserk watching their Bhai Jaan in action. Hena. With Sultan vying for many categories in the awards, we are only too excited to watch Salu in Act 2. What say? Meanwhile, Salman is getting busy with Ali Abbas Zafar's Tiger Zinta hair after his tube light with Kabir Khan gets done with. The Eid release is yet another grand affair for Salu fans. For now, we guess they would be more than happy watching Salman in Act in the awards show. The Zee Awards would be held on March 11th, though the telecast date would be much later. Soon we would also have Salman in the sequel to Dabang 2 and with so much happening, fans are only having a regular Salman feed. Hena Surrogacy seems to be the new in thing in B-Town and the latest entrant into the bandwagon is our dear own Karan Johar. But he is not the only one to use this option to enjoy parenthood. Good friends Shah Rukh and Gauri Khan too had their third child Abram through surrogacy and we must say the little munchkin is simply adorable. Last June, actor Tushar Kapoor too became a proud dad of a bony boy born through IVF and surrogacy and we must say he was ecstatic with joy. Perfectionist Amir Khan and his talented wife Kiran Rao too had used this spoon of medical science to enjoy parenthood with their baby Azad. Dabang Salman's brother Sohail and his wife Seema too had a son through surrogacy. 
Way back in 2008, choreographer come filmmaker Farah Khan and Habib Shirish Kundar became proud parents to triplets through IVF. And now Kejo's twins will surely make him a proud dad. So what do you think about this new norm of IVF and surrogacy? Let us know by commenting in the section below. Salman Khan is a happy man for rumours of him and Lulia have finally died down. The Dabang Bhaijan, who will be soon seen in the Eid release tube light, was rumoured to be getting married in December 2016. However, all that was a rumour and Salman is very much single now and ready to mingle. As for Ludhia Vantur, she is now seen crooning to some songs. We have heard her in Baby Ko Bes Pasand Hai from Sultan and you also have heard her in the cover version of Salman's Mehu Hero Tera. Now with so many things happening, Ludhia is really making it big in the music field. Salman would also be seen in the sequel to Ek Tha Taika, Taika Zinda Hai and also in Dabang 3. We wonder when he would get married if there is any. How do you feel about all this? Recently, we had revealed the iconic cheese buddy hai must must song from Mohra. While the teaser did make us nostalgic, reminding us of the hit jury of Akshay Kumar and Ravina Tandon. This time on, filmmaker Abbas has introduced this song in his son Mustafa Barmawala's debut venture Machine, where he will be sharing screen space with the beautiful Kiara Advani. There was a lot of speculation as the teaser received mixed reviews. But with Kilari Akshay Kumar himself launching the song, we are sure that the magic has been recreated well. The Pepe number is old fair served piping hot with some stupendous dance moves which will make your jaws drop. Indeed, machine seems to be kicking off real well, don't you think so? Let us know by commenting in the section below. Hum Aapke Hai Kaun was the first movie in Bollywood that collected more than 100 crores. These days, we see in Bollywood that every film star wishes to have his film cross over 300 crores. But did you know that it was Hum Aapke Hai Kaun which collected 100 crore for the first time? And believe it or not, it was a Salman Khan movie. For those coming in view, let us tell you that Hum Aapke Hai Kaun was a blockbuster and that crossed more than 100 crores thanks to Salman's super performance team with Madhuri Dixit. 
He was one actor who knew how to take the audience by storm. With so much happening, one only wonders that it is no surprise that all Salman movies are crossing 300 crores, for if he could have a 100 crore box office hit so many years back, then 300 crores is just happening in today's world. Henna. As for Salman, he is getting ready with his Eid release Tube Light and also with the sequel to Ek Tha Taika by Ali Abbas Safar. Salman is also getting busy with the Bang 3 allegedly with Sonakshi in the lead. So what do you feel about Salman doing great and Hamap Ke Hai Kaun in the 100 crore club buster?